Hi, I'm Cindy Pridmore, Senior Engineering Geologist at the California Geological Survey, and I want to talk to you today about liquefaction. In California, we have lots of earthquakes, many different sizes, and one of the things that can happen during a, a, a strong earthquake is we can have liquefaction. Liquefaction is when uh, you have a high water table, and what that means is there's water in the soil underneath the surface. This could happen near a river, in a floodplain, or by the ocean. Uh, usually along our coastal areas is where we can see where liquefaction can occur. When the earthquake starts and the ground starts shaking, uh, the sand grains bounce off each other and they squeeze the water that's in between the pore spaces. Uh, the only way that, only place where the water can go is up, and that's why the water comes to the surface. And at the same time, the sand grains are becoming more compacted and they're settling. I'll demonstrate. So we have sand here in this in the sandbox here. It has water in it, but it's not so wet that it's a slurry. There's this water in, in between the sand grains. I'm gonna put this building here, it's gonna be a high rise. I'm gonna bury this. This is actually a mini M&M container that's great because it caps off and we're gonna pretend it's a pipe. I'm gonna bury a pipe here beneath the surface. And what comes to our community in a pipe? Water. So we get a lot of water that comes to us in, in pipelines. I'm gonna bury another pipeline here. What's something else that comes to our community in a pipe? Or leaves our community in a pipe? Sewer systems, yeah, we can we get rid of our sewer uh, in pipes too. So even sometimes electrical, uh, communication lines, things like that are in pipes. So pipes are really important in our community. I'm gonna put this other little house here, and it's gonna be over the pipe. So we have our setup ready, and what I'm gonna do, and count to three, I'm gonna cause the ground to shake. Now I'm not gonna hit this really hard, I'm just gonna tap on it and get it vibrating. You can also pound on the table if you have a lot of people who wanna participate and make your earthquake that way as well. So here we go, one, two, three, earthquake. You watch the surface, and you can see what's happening. You can see the water's coming up. What's happening to these toy buildings? Oh my gosh, they're tipping over. What's happening to the pipes? The pipes are coming to the surface, just as we predicted. So the sand grains are bouncing off each other, the water's coming up, and the sand grains are slowly settling. And that makes an uneven surface at the, at the surface of, of the earth. So buildings are, that are just resting like that, they don't have a very good foundation. You can see in this picture here from a, a Japan earthquake, how the buildings just slowly tipped over. Uh, in, that, in that earthquake, no one got hurt in those buildings because it was a really slow tipping over. But after that earthquake, we learned more about how to make buildings safer in areas where liquefaction can, can occur. This other picture is from North, the Northridge earthquake in Southern California. You can see a big flame, fires coming out of the street there. That was because a pipeline broke, uh, a gas pipeline broke uh, because of liquefaction during that particular earthquake. And in the last picture, it looks like I'm standing next to a fault where the ground has shifted, but what happened is that's actually settlement due to liquefaction that occurred in an area down in Southern California. So another way to make a liquefaction is in a cup, and this is kind of fun. Uh, if you have a classroom, you can let everybody be doing it, participating with their own cup. But we're gonna take some of this wet sand, and we're not gonna pack it down, but we're just gonna make a smooth surface at the top. So there's spaces and voids, and there's still water in there. And we're gonna take pennies, pennies, and we're gonna make like a little wall or fence. You don't want to push the pennies all the way down. You want them to stay at the top. But kind of push them halfway down so they, I'm making a little wall here. And then I'm gonna use my spoon again, and I'm gonna cause an earthquake again, and I'm just gonna tap it, earthquake. And you can actually see the water coming up the sides of the cup and the sand grains going down. And you can see how the pennies end up collapsing because they weren't on very stable soil uh, because of the liquefaction that's occurring. If you'd like to learn more, please visit our website at the California Geological Survey. Thank you.